Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Friday morning, 8.51. I've been up for a little bit, trying to organize gear, because again, like I mentioned in a video that you never saw because I didn't post it, I decided that this 16 to 35, if I take the ZVE one off of dynamic stabilization and put it into active stabilization, I get clear image zoom back. And then that makes this 16 to 35, a 16 to 70. And since that's better than 20 to 70, I've decided that this is the lens I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna sell the 20 to 70. So I was just digging up the box and getting everything ready for that. It is for now a nice day out, but it isn't gonna stay that way. So we're going to enjoy the sunlight while we can. Now today, I got a bunch of day job shit to do. And I want to accomplish that as quickly this morning as I possibly can. The problem with that is though, is that now that I've heard the forecast and that it's going to be shit out later today, I might just grab my camera and head to Pleasure House Point this morning. Once again, I haven't been out that much shooting pictures it was a long week on the road and I just, I had other shit to do. Plus it started to rain yesterday and it wasn't supposed to, it wasn't supposed to rain today either. It was only supposed to rain tomorrow. So I have no idea what it's going to be like or when it's going to be shitty or nice or whatever. But for now, the sun is shining. It's supposed to go up to 80 freaking degrees today. That's also not supposed to happen. It was only supposed to be in the 60s and 70s. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Anywho, yeah, the cat's being weird. So uh, let's get cracking. I got to collect all the garbage and then I got to make breakfast. So yesterday, well, every day I've been filming and you know how that goes. I just ended up not using anything. And especially yesterday, I shot with the intentions of talking about audio because I found my problem with my headphones, speakers, all that stuff. Long story short, I, I didn't understand audio. I didn't understand how it worked. So I was using like these shitty $8 earbud things that I got on Amazon. Don't get me wrong, they're great when you plug them into a phone or a tablet or even your laptop just to listen to shit, but when you put them into your sound system and you're trying to edit video, no. So I then got a new set of headphones. This was a long time ago. And they worked on the iMac, but they didn't work well when I got the MacBook Pro. And I plugged them into the speaker system when I built the editing station. And what was going on was that I could never turn them up loud enough. I was always like, God, why is that so low? And I literally have to crank it. And then I have to go into the system volume and I'd have to crank that too. From that point on to my ears, everything sounded like shit. It was, it, it was like scratchy. It, it just didn't sound good. It didn't sound right. Cut to the beginning of this week when I was on the road and I was sitting in the hotel and I was starting to watch videos about audio and trying to figure out, all right, I need to get another pair of headphones that, that are actually decent because now I'm trying to plug into the little, little puck that controls the volume and also has a, 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 have a jack for headphones. Pretty much whatever I plug in there, either it doesn't come on at all, it's too low, or only one side has sound. So I'm like, okay, I need to get headphones. Okay, no problem. So I started looking up which headphones to get, and you know how that goes. I'm down the rabbit hole and I'm looking at hundreds of different headphones and this, that, and the other thing. Without belaboring the point, I got a pair of Biodynamic DT770 Pros, and there are three models. I think it's 32 ohm, 80 ohm, and 250 ohm. Now, I didn't understand the difference, but I did notice on one particular website that it showed, you know, like what they were, what they were good for. And the 250 ohms were like, this is for editing, this is for sound design, this is when you're in a studio and all that kind of stuff. And I go, well, I'm not gonna be wearing these things out driving around, so I'll get those. Then I watched a, one video that changed everything for me. And he said, if you get the 250s, you have to have a system that drives, drives the headphones. And I'm like, what, 
fuck is he talking about? Basically, what he's saying is that you need to have a lot of juice to be able to make those headphones work the way they're supposed to work. And I didn't. I never had enough. And that's what was wrong with the way older headphones that have since crumbled their earpieces were shit. Buy cheap to get cheap. I needed to then look into getting a headphone amplifier. Now they're not expensive. You know, I was thinking, oh my God, here we go. Now they're gonna want a thousand dollars and I'm gonna have all this freaking sound equipment there, you know? And I'm just like, I'm not doing that. Well, I don't need to do that. I ended up watching a bunch of videos and ended up getting a FIO, F-I-I-O, it might be a K5 Pro. Not that expensive. I actually watched a video where somebody was talking about that amp, those headphones with that ohm rating specifically and said, I went into my system, I turned it to 80% and then I put the FIO at like straight up 12 o'clock. Well, once I plugged it in to my hub, the MacBook basically just took all that out and, and now the system was what it was and you couldn't change the system sound, but you could go in and change, you can go like dick around with the, with the amp itself. And I haven't downloaded the software for it because I think it's way more advanced for anything I need. Basically, I plugged it in, I set the sound to go through the FIO and then I took the file, set it to USB because it's a USB that I'm plugging in with and then turned it up 12 o'clock and was blown away at how amazing it sounded. Just jaw dropping, like you've gotta be kidding me. So I put on a song that, that I've been familiar with for over 30 years, Genesis, Domino. So Genesis, the band, the song Domino. It has a lot of keyboard and then a lot of percussion. It's got like slow, low volume, and then it's got crashing sounds and all that kind of stuff. It, it's one of my favorite songs. I don't want to hear what you have to say about my uh, taste in music, whatever. So I'm listening to this and I'm going to tell you right now that it's the first time in over 30 years that I've actually heard that song the way it's supposed to be heard. Couldn't believe it. Amazing. So I went through all my footage or like all my finished videos over the past year and I just randomly selected ones and I listened to myself in the Forerunner. I listened to myself at Pleasure House Point. I've listened to myself in the office everywhere. And obviously I've gone through several different microphone systems over the past year, at least two years, we'll say. And I listen and I'm like, wow. So it turns out that my sound wasn't shit. My headphones were shit. So I thought that everything sounded bad. Well, all right, it kind of did because I had to turn all the volumes up to max and that introduced all that scratching, you know, uh, noise because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Now, I'm not claiming to be like a total audio guru now, but I know enough to know that I got the headphones and the amp now and everything sounds magical. So now my audio shouldn't sound like shit. Now, Yankee Cowboy always tells me I don't have enough bass in my stuff, but that's a personal thing. He just likes bassy stuff. I don't want to do any kind of editing when it comes to that kind of shit. So anyways, having now learned about audio and knowing enough to know what I need to know for what I'm doing, I'm going to stand here like with my tail between my legs and I'm going to say it has actually spurred me to then look into shooting in log and doing color grading because I have these cameras that are capable of, of like incredible footage. And I, that's not to say that my footage sucks or anything. I mean, you either like my videos or you don't, but I have a feeling that I could do a lot better with the footage than I'm shooting because I just do it in s -Cinetone and I don't do any kind of grading or fixing or any of that shit. I don't put any call outs, sound effects, none of that stuff. Well, now I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should because I'm watching all these videos that I like. They're well done. They're well edited, but they're well shot to begin with so that they can be edited better, both audio and video wise. I'm not saying that all my videos are gonna be these great cinematic movies and masterpieces and all that shit, but I'm gonna start trying to learn how to do that stuff. Yes, I'm gonna be dragged kicking and screaming into the present because I'm always like, ah, the monkey doesn't do grading, the monkey doesn't do audio and all that kind of stuff. Well, the monkey's an idiot and he needs to learn how to do that shit if I wanna go forward and up. So that's what I'm gonna do, all right. Enough blathering, I'm hungry, I need to make my breakfast. Okay, so one of the things that you learn over several decades of having a disability, mine in particular with my angry spine, is that you learn to listen to your body. So when I got up this morning, things didn't feel right. What do I mean by that? What happens to me is that things just get screwy 
and I always say my back goes out. What I'm talking about is in my lower back, everything down at the bottom of my damn back, it starts to like cramp, if you wanna say. Everything starts to tighten up, and then all I have to do is just bend, and, and, and there's no method to that madness. Sometimes like I'm standing on, on the tire of my forerunner and I'm trying to put the antenna on, or I bend down to pick up a hat, or bend down to pick up some garbage, or I just move and it goes out. That's what's happening right now. I can feel my lower back seizing. Oh, we got a cat. Oh, don't sputz the lens. Um, th and th then my back seizes and then I'm laying there in debilitating pain like all weekend. And it always happens when she's on vacation, she being the uh, chiropractor or on a Saturday morning or something like that. It's Friday morning, she's there. I'm gonna go get cracked so that I can head this off at the pass. And I better pick this up because the cat's curious. So we're gonna go to the chiropractor right now. Let's do it. Okay, well, that was interesting. I was off by more than an inch. See, told you I can tell. It has been bugging me all week because I went on Monday and she's like, holy crap, you're like really tight. I said, yeah, I know. Like, like my right hip has been bugging me. And then after she like did all the shit that she did, then pretty much for the rest of the week, like I could feel that popping. Like, you know, like I, I kind of say it's where your leg connects into, into your pelvis and that would pop when I would uh, like spread my knees out when I'm laying down and it just kept popping. And I was like, okay, well, th that's great. Cause there's nothing like a good crack or a pop, you know? I thought to myself that that, okay, we're good to go, but it just kept happening and everything just felt really tight. And I kept trying to stretch it out. And especially I started to feel this last night. So when I got done showering and everything, I, I was on the floor, like I do every night doing some yoga moves. And I was just trying to take a little extra time to stretch that out, but it was already out of place and, and going wonky. And then when it goes out of place like that, the muscles are tight and they're trying to pull everything back to, to normal. Yeah, I could sit here and talk to you for hours about how messed up spines can get and what they can do to you and what sleeping on a shitty pillow, what having the wrong kind of shoes, having the wrong kind of gait, blah, 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 and all that shit. The monkey's messed up, but the monkey has learned over three decades to recognize when shit ain't right and to try to get to the chiropractor to get it fixed before things get really bad. And we're good to go now. And the chaser. Well, that was part of chaser. I dumped some of the seltzer water in there to get all last bit of the caffeine. Stop looking at the screen. Ah. Uh, Bean has been gotten. Bean, for her, has been gotten. So we're gonna go to the library now, drop this off. Okay, so it's been a fun-filled day, but it's time to wind it up. I have been all over the place. I have done all kinds of day job stuff, all kinds of personal stuff, and all kinds of filming and blah, 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 blah. And I brought you along with me, but that's all I can do for now. Going to DC tomorrow, grabbing my stuff, turn around and coming back. I'm gonna take you with me. I hope it doesn't rain. It kind of held off today, even though it was supposed to, and it didn't. So I hope that because tomorrow it's supposed to, it won't, and I'll be good to go. But we'll find out tomorrow. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.